Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a first impressions and demo of the Makeup Forever HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. This is what it looks like here in its box. I got the shade Y245. It also says equals 120, so not sure which one is the actual shade. This is what the packaging looks like here. So it's basically a foundation cover stick. It's got some smudging on it because I did open it to swatch it. I'll show you guys what the color that I got looks like. Ooh, I just dinged it when I opened it. That's no good. Oh well, it'll still work fine. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to be a good color match for me. I tried to do the best I could. It doesn't look too, too bad. That's what it looks like swatched out. And if I blend it, yeah, I think that's going to be quite good, actually. I bought this foundation from Sephora.com. It said it was a new foundation, so I wanted to check it out, see how it was. Just going to read you some info here on my laptop about it real quick, and then I will try it out. So there are 15 colors, which is awesome, lots to choose from. It says that this stick uh, creates a flawless complexion on camera and to the naked eye, developed specifically for the film and TV industry's most advanced technology. It is completely invisible under the latest super focused 4K lens. So that's interesting. The revolutionary foundation contains amino acid coated pigments that provide medium to full coverage with a lightweight second skin texture that looks just like skin. So a lot of great promises here so far. It leaves a natural looking radiant finish and it's formulated with hyaluronic spheres for time released hydration that is perfect for normal to dry skin. I've never read that before. Time released hydration. So very interesting. Ideal for foundation touch-ups and contouring and it can be applied at home or on the go for a flawless complexion. And this foundation retails for $43. So it has a kind of suggested suggested use here on how to apply it. So I'm going to go ahead and follow that. It's saying that, here I'll come in closer, you want to swipe it on the highest parts of the face. So across the forehead, down the nose, on the chin, and then it's saying across the top of the cheekbones, and diagonally across the jawline. Whoop. There's a chunk of when I nicked it, so we don't need that on there. All right, so I've got it swiped on there. As far as blending it in, it says with small circular motion starting in the center of the face and working outward. So I'm using this brush here. They have a suggested brush of brush number 122. I don't have that brush. I have this Sigma Flat Angled Kabuki F88. I really like this one when I'm going to be using a foundation brush. So I'm going to go ahead and do what they say, start in the center of the face. In circular motions. I think I'm definitely going to need some more around this area here because immediately I'm noticing that it's just the product's not going that far. It's blending right into my skin which is great but um, it's kind of staying right where I put it. So if I wanted to take like this stripe here and blend it towards my nose. There's not too much product left on my brush by the time I've moved it, if that makes sense. So I definitely think I'm going to have to add some more swipes. But I'll blend this in first and then we'll have a look. I like to always put foundation on my neck and drag it down as much as I can just to make sure that everything blends. This coming in close to my mirror here looking how it's blending on top. It is blending in, although I feel like it takes a lot more effort than a lot of other foundations, especially with the second coat on top in this area here in particular. I feel like I can see it sitting on my skin. So you got to be a bit careful. If you can get away with one light layer, like if you don't want too, too much coverage, I think that's definitely the way to go. I still have some on my forehead that I haven't blended in yet. So I'll show you how it blends in. It is blending in. I just feel like it's starting to look a bit heavy. And I'm really having to work at spreading the material. It's like it dries. It's not that it dries, it's just that the consistency is already quite dry. So you don't have a lot of liquid to kind of move around. 
I think this would be really good for touch-ups. Like if your foundation is wearing off in areas or if you've put on like a, a lighter foundation but you have certain problem areas, you could just kind of dab it on and pat it in like that. And I think that would look really beautiful. But as far as an all over foundation, it's definitely taking more work than your typical foundation to blend in. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish. All right, so here it is here, all blended in. It's definitely a really flawless foundation um, from afar, like backing up, it looks quite, quite nice. When I come in, if I get really close to my mirror, I can see it on top of my pores and kind of this area. And I'm noticing that in dry areas, it's clinging on to that. So I don't know if that's because it's a stick foundation and it's not very moisturizing. Um, I'm curious to see how this holds up through the day, I'll let you know. But so far, for a drier skin tone, which I'm not, I just have dry patches, I'm seeing it kind of cling and stick to it. As far as finish, I mean, it dried immediately and um, it's not a flat matte, but it's definitely more on the matte side. All right, so here's the finished foundation look with everything on top of it. I do have highlighter on, so that is not the foundation itself. The foundation is quite matte on its own, but everything went on beautifully. I'll come in real close so you can see what it looks like. As you can see, I can see a bit of it on top of my skin, but from afar, it definitely has that airbrushed um, look. You can't see anything from afar. It just looks beautiful. So I'm going to see how it wears throughout the day. It's currently 11.58 a.m. and I will check back in in a couple hours and show you what it looks like. All right, so I'm checking in. It is now 7.19 and the sun is going down, so this is the last of the light that I have, but this foundation still looks really, really good, all things considered. I've gone to the park, I've done lots of things around the house, I've been out to the store, I mean, I haven't just been sitting still, but it hasn't broken apart anywhere. I'll come up close, like usually around here it would. It hasn't. My chin, I mean a little bit, but I think I rub my chin. Just, it's a habit. My forehead, everything looks pretty much the way it did when I first applied it, which is really shocking to me. Um, I haven't applied any powder or anything like that, no blotting paper, and I barely have any shine. I mean, you can see some here. This is highlight, obviously. You can see some on my forehead. But typically I'd have like a lot going on in this region, my nose and my chin, and it's really not that bad. So I'm pleasantly surprised, really impressed. Um, I think if you're an oilier skin tone or a combo skin or even normal skin, you're going to love this. Dry skin, like I said, it, I did find it catching on to dry patches, which is funny because they market it for normal to dry skin. So I'm not finding that, but I mean, it looks beautiful. So I'm impressed. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching. Bye.